Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to get World of War graphics in Black Ops 3. Now I'm going to explain the difference between Black Ops 3 and World of War graphics and also why you would want World of War graphics in Black Ops 3 because you may be thinking, well, World of War is an older Call of Duty game and obviously looks worse, things are lower resolution, less polygons, why would you want that? Well, things like text resolution and polygons, those are all going to stay the same. I'm talking about lighting and colors, mostly colors. And, you know, those are still older, so I'll explain what I mean. Uh, based on what I mean, it's from an artistic direction. It'll be more like World of War. Nothing technical, really. There's not going to be any sort of, like, l artificial limitations placed. So you'll still get good graphics, but you'll get the same feeling from World of War. Now, I'm going to freeze myself right here so I don't move at all. Uh, basically... Black Ops 3's colors and lighting is a lot more punchy, vibrant, everything pops more. And that's gorgeous, you know. It looks gorgeous. People like that. It's eye-catching. Psychology proves that. And a lot of people may prefer that. World of War's graphics, it's a, it was a World War II game and it was older. So it was more desaturated, gritty. It was much more, the zombies are much more creepier because of that. And I kind of just miss zombies being creepier. Uh, it also had this grayish, whitish undertone to it. Now, I actually prefer that. I like it when Black Ops. I like it when Call of Duty Zombies is creepier, scarier. I like it when it's more realistic. I don't mind the vibrant colors for maybe other things or certain genres of games or maybe the multiplayer. But for zombies, I want it to be scary. Uh, so basically, I have a quite a couple presets in here. How you would select them is you would drop these all into your folder game folder and then you just click up here and select the one you want. I'll start off with light. Light is the most uh, you know conservative one. So right now I've been on default graphics if you couldn't tell and I'm gonna switch to light right now. You see things are a little bit more desaturated. Things have a whitish grayish undertone to it like World of War. The reason there's multiple presets is because not every map has the same vibrancy level and everyone also has a different preference so one map may be much more vibrant than the other and this is mostly for custom zombie maps than it is for Treyarch zombie maps so I'm gonna go to moderate moderate's a little bit more desaturated than light of course I think moderate looks pretty accurate pretty good Select high. High is even more. Extreme. Extreme is even more. So I typically tend to like moderate and high. Those tend to be my favorites for most maps. The ones that I use. You can use whatever you want. Depends on your display, your own preference, the map you're playing, etc. So I have mine. I left it on moderate. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run around now with these settings on and I will be flipping back and forth you know if you look at the sky blue now it's like more gray the reason I wanted to test origins is because this is a World War II map now World at War took place in World War II and so did every single zombies map and although this isn't technically a Black Ops 3 map it's a Black Ops 2 map remastered in Black Ops 3 I felt like this was a perfect example because it's not this, you know, it's not a map that was in World of War, but it's World War II themed, and I feel like it just has the best chance of uh, feeling like World of War while not being World of War. See, there's the fire down there. Looks much more like World of War with this preset on. Let me switch to high. High is probably a little bit more accurate but you can use whatever. I can walk around a bit on uh, on high. You can use whatever setting you, you prefer. I'm not sure how this will come across on video. On my screen this looks amazing. I did make this for myself, but I thought other people may want this like this. So have it here as well the 
that's going to be it. If you guys want to see this on other maps, uh, you guys can download this and reshade. I hope you guys know how to set up reshade. If not, look up a tutorial. This is just kind of a quick video on demonstrating the preset on a map. Uh, if you guys want any other type of presets from like uh, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Cold War Zombies, you want those colors in this game or whatever, lighting, let me know. I'll create that. Or even non-Call of Duty uh, Zombies games like World, like Modern Warfare 2. You know, I can try to do that. It just depends on the demand for it. So if you want to leave a suggestion, leave it. If it gets a lot of upvotes, then likes, then I'll do it. And maybe even I could do it for like a from another game. If you want this to look like a different game, I guess. Just uh, just depends on how the demand for it. But anyways, peace out.